that will take us through the hot topics of the week. To my father's left is none other than Smita, who is a columnist. Columnist, ooh, and of course a book author. It's so good to see you, Smita. Yeah, Gaberone, it's wonderful <laughs> to see you. Yeah, and and I really want that name to catch on. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, Gaberone. The name is Zinzi Smita. Let's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's not. Do this. Of course, and next to Smita is none other than Queen, who is an editor here at the Standard Group. Let's talk about Queen for a moment and how gorgeous she looks. Queen, who dressed you? Because this is not you. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh -huh. This is me. Uh -huh. Okay. You focus on the dress, but uh -huh. you also look at the woman. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I'm dressed by none other than a talented designer called Olga Neto of okay. Neto Fashion Design. You look. Gorgeous. Thank you. She made me look this nice. You know, mm. Queen walked in here and everyone was like, you know, <laughs> exactly. Wow. And of course, today oh, closer to you. me is Solo. Solo, yes. who wears quite a number of hats, buying MCAs, buying president, <laughs> yeah. um, but he's also an aspiring comedian. He's a writer with pals. He wears a couple of hats. Guys, it's so good to see you. Thank good you. to see you. It's been a minute since you've done this. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, first of all, Nashiski's in Song of the Week, mm -hmm. and the fact that um, when we were playing it, Solo was like, they're even talking about press freedom. Yes. Yeah. That was one of the topics yeah. this week. Yes, I'll yes. start with you, Solo. And I think that's what, uh, um, uh, you know, there was a lot of issues that came out yesterday when I was even watching. I even um, wondered why um, uh, we do not see so much activity maybe in the city, but it uh, looks like, uh, um, I'm, I, I don't know if this is a, um, is a scenario, but it looks like the media fraternity, they are friends in the other counties. Yeah. Uh, the ones who are really vocal about um, uh, press freedom, are we getting it? Are we, is, are we getting justice? Um, uh, is media being treated uh, um, uh, fairly the way mm -hmm. they're supposed to be? Mm -hmm. um, uh, so many issues came as well. Fun fact, mm -hmm. we are number six as a country out yes. of 180 yes. in the world in terms of how our journalists are free to move about oh, and really? tell stories. Okay. Number 96. Yes. Oh my goodness. Last year, Queen was mm -hmm. an election year. I can imagine. And you can Im we also how um, not only were Kenyans treated, mm -hmm. but also journalists on the other hand, you know. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts towards this whole press freedom as we mark? Okay, in a season where we are seeing uh, handshakes. <laughs> <laughs> there's so, I mean, there's so many handshakes flying around. I'm waiting for that day when uh, the government or the president himself is going to invite the media for a handshake mm. because we had a very um, abrasive relationship last year. We were banned. Yes. Yes, for a couple of days we lost business, mm. and I don't think we we we, we broke up. Mm. At some it's point. 2018 for goodness. It's sake. it's 2018. Yes, and uh, for me, uh, I wish uh, we would be given the freedom, you know, to do what we are supposed to do. Right. Yes. I, I'm not sure what uh, <laughs> the lovely looking queen means by we want a handshake. Yeah? <laughs> Our work is not to shake hands with the executive, eh? uh -huh. the first estate. Eh? Uh -huh. I, our work, like now, uh, we know Baba is gone. Mm. Eh? He's inside a handshake. We don't know what he's doing in that cauldron, but he's away. <laughs> we'll ask about, I was very happy today when Gaberone, you were questioning things <laughs> like the euro bond, yeah? the, yes, the, euro billion, the, the billion credit we're that is going to be enslaving our yes. children, which we are not sure about. Eh? Yes. Yeah? Yes. You know, you can't be happy when the father of the house queen eh? mm. is always going to the bank because, you know, banks call you. Yes. So imagine if you, if you took up all those offers, eh? <laughs> Barclays calls you, yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah give me a million. Eh? <laughs> then you, eh, equity calls you, you're like, oh, yeah, 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 I'll take that 300. Eh? <laughs> so uh, your credit card, you're like, yeah. That's how we are. We are now with the Chinese. All, all, all the, uh, that hemisphere, when you look from Mongolia until London, eh? mm -hmm. whoever calls, they're like, yeah. You know, you say that, and I invited a joke by um, Kevin Hart. There's a point at the time he said that he was so broke, okay, of course it was a joke, that when he entered into a bank, he tripped the alarm system. That is Kenya. To yeah. With that 300 billion, that is Kenya. We will walk into World Bank or wherever, and we will trip the alarm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quinn, you wanted to say something? Yeah. Yes. What I mean by the handshake is, Smita, either way, we need each other. We need the government, we, and the government needs us. Because let me tell you something. When you were given the media blackout, we would receive uh, information that we were needed to cover events at the state house, at government functions. And I ask myself, OK, you guys just banned us, and mm. you still expect us to come and cover events for you. My point is, <clears throat> um, I I, I when they call that you, is the I whole the idea. You see, so Smita, we don't want we don't want to operate in a scenario in yes. a, in a space where we are, we have you know we are being presented with baits. You're being told you know if you do not do this, we won't give you advertisement. So I want us to have 
a very mature relationship oh, where guess see, even you know, well, say <laughs> but you see the handshake there's so yeah, much that goes into yeah, the handshake yeah, these yes. handshakes, eh? these people become very quiet no 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 we are not going to be quiet we are looking for maturity speaking of handshake you guys <laughs> yesterday but uh, not yesterday but on wednesday when yes. you addressed the state of the nation babu wino went and shook president uhuru kenyatta's hand this is after last year's and his uh, his remarks his horrible remarks towards former first lady and first First lady yes, yes. Of, of Kenya. Po so, you want to jump on that? Politicians are, wait, sorry. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I just have to say, politicians <laughs> are such prostitutes. <laughs> because me, like, they, I'd read Miguna's book, eh? uh -huh. that peeling back the mask was it. Mm -hmm. And I'd said, okay, if you insult me, eh? if Solo insults me in the pub, we can forgive each other the next day. Yes. But that's a written, you know, we respect the written word. Me, I said, if I was real, every time I read, I'm like, Satan, I'm weak. So, I'm a weak devil what Miguna put in that book, this girl would never be my buddy. But look at Miguna and Rayla. They became again, you know, BFFs. <laughs> and then now he's been deported. He's there casting him from Toronto. So politicians never believe it. Eh? But politicians They really yeah. don't have friends. They Our don't enemies. have enemies. Yes. Yeah? They have got one interest. Eh? They are guts, stomach. Mm -hmm. eh? yes. and, and how to eat our taxpayer so money. Yeah. I, I, and I think, um, well, I, I definitely agree with what Smita is saying. Um, uh, well, first of all, I need to say that it was good that the president extended that courtesy of saying, okay, we need to stop uh, mudslinging, we need to stop fighting, name calling and all that. If I, if I um, uh, insulted you, if I vexed you last year, then uh, I'm, 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 I'm here saying, I'm sorry, let us move forward. Uh, but again, yes, uh, politi politics is strategy. Politics yeah. is a game. Politics is... Um, it's never that serious. Yeah. The only um, uh, sad thing I, I, I have to express is when two um, uh, bulls are locking horns, then the grass is the one that gets hurt because I'm thinking about all those people who lost their lives last year and all the families and what they are going through right now. Mm. Now saying that uh, probably we are fighting for our liberation, for, we, are, we are fighting for this kind of a political status, we are fighting for um, uh, the independence of uh, the IEBC, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah. so, and then, and then uh, all, these people, uh, all these people lose their lives. Then later, the same politicians who incited you to go and uh, um, throw, throw stones, stones and, and attack your neighbors and attack your uh, business fraternity, then they are shaking hands and moving forward. And you know who else is being attacked? Kanye West. <laughs> so this is the deal with Kanye West. He appeared on TMZ. TMZ normally does this thing where um, they invite um, celebrity and they come and talk things out, like the way we're doing here, and Kanye West lost his mind. And he said, this is the thing, he said a lot, but the one thing that really stood out that had people in anger was the fact that he said, and I quote, slavery was a choice, all right? Here, take a look for yourself. Our feeling, how many people felt something that I said today? Raise a hand if you felt something that I said today. Do you feel that I'm feeling, do, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? Yes. yes. Do, do you, I actually don't think you're thinking anything. I think what you're doing right now is actually the absence of thought. And the reason why I feel like that, because Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world, real life consequence behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our lives. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Every day we have to walk into that truth while you choose to say things that, to be honest with you, dog, are nonsensical. You want to think freely? That's fine. I'll combat your free thought with my free thought because mine is grounded in a reality that I have been given and a reality that I'm going to change, but I'm not going to do it by pretending that the enemies are on the same team as me. And frankly, I'm disappointed, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. That's the way I feel. Stand on all the coffee tables you want to stand on, 
Say whatever you want to say, but don't throw a stone, then hide your hand like the rest of us are just going to swallow it. Yay, be yay. I'm off it forever. Do you. But remember, the life that I live is as a real person, an actual person. Now, the thing is, he said some, uh, he said grounded in reality. This reality has been forced upon us. It is a choice, just like when I said slavery is a choice. The reality, we can make our own reality. We can talk about history, but not too long. Because slavery was a choice, 400 years of submission for the black people being whooped and beaten, um, what has become the basis of discrimination even in 2018. But hey, slavery was a choice. Before I get their feedbacks, this is what Twitter had to say. Twitter clapped back at Kanye West so hard using the hashtag, if slavery was a choice. I want to read for you some of them so you can see how bad it was. Um, look at that. It's, um, it, it's this one of the tweets um, by, uh, by people on social media setting up the work playlist for the day. Hashtag, if slavery was a choice, because, you know, when we are picking cotton, we, we might as well listen to our favorite playlist. Let's take a look at the next one. What, when you take a paid vacation from slavery, look at Jay-Z and that hand. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so master was the name that they used to um, refer to their master at that time. Master, be on the plantation by 6 a.m. Me at 11 a.m. Mimi Uyo. Hashtag, if slavery was a choice. <laughs> you know, right now we are laughing about it, but it is so sad. Hashtag, if slavery was a choice, when things were getting tough on plantation, but you are on a break, and I don't care. I just don't care, okay? <laughs> and there's one I saw that was so hilarious about HR. There we go. Calling HR <laughs> after your master whips me a little too hard. <laughs> okay, so Queen, I'll let you have um, the first okay. one. I think uh, Kanye's meltdown, well, it's not the first time this has Ooh. happened. And for me, it is just the Kardashian curse. <laughs> that has hit him, and it has hit him hard. Because if you look at the Kardashians and the men that they've been dating, I think each one of them has Lamar? had issues. Yes, the Scott? drugs. Yes. Now Kanye. Kanye. There's another one. Uh, Chloe's baby daddy. Uh, not Chloe. Um, yes, Chloe's baby daddy. No. No, that's they, Lamar, no that's Tristan. Oh. Uh -huh. Who's yeah. that went to a Dallas brothel? That's Lamar. Tristan. No, that's Tristan. Yeah. No. Tristan. One, the one prepared for like a weekend, then he was yes. running a brothel. Yes. And the and the uh, and the, and, the and the baby mama was due to give birth. Yes. That's Tristan. Yes. The basket. Like she's yes. going to the hospital and. Yes. yes. So. But, but you remember even Lamar was also found uh, unconscious. Yeah. In the <laughs> it, yeah. it is. Those are Armenians. We dealt with them in standard. Don't forget the Kardashians are Armenians. They are from Armenians posing as Americans. So what did you think about Kanye West and saying that um slavery was a choice of Course. No, I believe he, in this particular lineage, eh, eh. when other West Africans, eh, you are from Botswana, so they didn't catch, catch up with you there at the corner, <laughs> and Kenya was too far. But when other eh, girls were running, eh, the, the other you know, big black men in West Africa, eh, you know, they, they ran away, they are grabbed, you are taken to the ship. Kenya's great, 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 great grandfather was like running after the ship. Msini wache. Nataka kuenda America. I want to be on that cruise. I want to be part of it. Yes. Take a uh, yeah, we are going to, work, to, to hang out in a ranch. Uh, and pick up Koto for 400 years. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Queen, before you, you say something, because I also want um, yes. Solo's comment, especially now that Solo said that a lot of, um, uh, what do I call this, um, celebrities yes. were responding back to Kanye West. Take a look at what 50 Cent said, yes. or rather his post on Instagram. Did you guys see that? There it is. It's on your screens in just a few moments, um, where Kanye West was, um, <laughs> Kanye West, <laughs> if slavery was a choice then, Kanye West, the white man. Yes. So 50 Cent um, Instagram post read, slavery was a choice, get the strap, hashtag power, hashtag the oath. That was Kanye West, oh my, I mean, that was 50 Cent. Um, so, Lo, your thoughts? Um, well, it's also hilarious how um, social media, you know, reacts to some of this uh, outburst. But Kanye West is no new to, you know, controversy and, mm -hmm. uh, and so, but uh, this time around, I think Kanye West, he got served. He got served in a way that he, he who could not have predicted. But um, going that people have been um, talking about uh, probably um, uh, Kanye West going through um, uh, mental issues or, or something like that. But you have to, to give it up to him. He's, he's quite a genius in, in all he does. No, he's he does. talented. And, 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 all, and all the black people and all artists who've, uh, who've worked under him or in, in this era, um, uh, actually attest to that. But, uh, well, on this one, I think he might, might have really gone a little bit uh, further in, um, 
injuring the emotions of a lot of uh, people who have been fa um, uh, facing, you know, the discrimination and fighting for black excellence in the U.S. and even globally, and saying that, you know, we should stop this um, um, slavery, we should stop... Um, uh, um, uh, human trafficking, which is still ongoing in mm. some uh, African countries, um, mm. unfortunately, and some um, countries in, in Asia. Mm. Yes, and uh, now seeing that at this day and era when we are trying to push such things, but then again, um, look at uh, um, uh, his comments about Trump. He's already said, and uh, he, he's always been in the public saying that that's my boy, and, uh, and you know, um, a lot of uh, celebrities have been saying. Um, uh, what has what policies is Trump pushing that you say that okay let's support this guy? A lot of the policies he's pushing are against um, uh, uh, um, uh, contributing to black oppression, immigrants, black people, exactly, um, women, etc. Mm. And the thing is, you see, Kanye first of all in the month of April was mm. tweeting. Someone needs to take away his phone. Let's just start with that. <laughs> and then number two, um, a lot of celebrities like you said responded. I was watching an interview. Will I am? He was uh, responding to Pierce Morgan and he was saying, "This is not the Kanye that." I know, yes. and I am so appalled by his comments. Smita? You know, um, like at any serious level, you can't, when you say slavery is a choice, so where do we stop? You say that was a choice. So we'll say um, apartheid was a choice. Eh? <laughs> so we say those soxers and Zulus, right. apartheid was a choice when mm -hmm. a system is oppressing you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we say Nazi Germany, that the Holocaust was a choice for the Jews? Where do you stop? Any system yeah, like you now we feel very oppressed. For example, see in Kenya when we see our we are, debt is just being gathered up, yeah, and it's from our pockets yeah, that we'll pay them back. It's not your choice when there's a huge sort, sort of social system, or any global order like slavery was, eh? an organized, systematic, uh, nuzzling of people. It's not their choice. Yeah, nobody chooses, you know, to be under any any uh, oppressive uh, regime. So for me, it's just um, it's nonsense, like someone. Um, as we're winding up, mm. and I would love to take us through Pulse, and also we have the Nairobi at Solo. Yes, a lot of things that have been happening, um, uh, including uh, the Kanye's trade and you know all, all his advice. But uh, clearly, if you look at that guy, um, you could see there was a bit of uh, influence, which mm. is. Uh, <laughs> He was probably not himself. But um, uh, of course, uh, Pulse was out and about uh, all over the weekend, um, uh, covering some of the biggest events that went down. And uh, we all remember that one of the biggest events that we had, one of the biggest concerts we had, was uh, um, uh, Rick Ross performing in Nairobi. Um, um, just the other day, we had the Safari from Jazz, in the International Jazz. We had uh, Manu and performing alongside other uh, big Kenyan artists. Mm -hmm. um, we also bring. Uh, um, uh, some on the spot, some of the um, uh, celebrities who have been trending, um, which is, for example, we have uh, Petra. Yeah. Petra, um, she's uh, I'm, uh, probably. What page is that, by the way? Um, that is page six. Page six? Yes, page it's six, of the okay. Paris magazine. Um, uh, Petra uh, has been uh, a, a quite a good rapper, but uh, in the recent past, I think after working with uh, Calligraph Jones, we've been seeing her lyrical prowess coming up quite strongly, and uh, people are saying that uh, she should um, very, very easily or in a, in a very few days be crowned the queen of hip hop in Kenya and probably even uh, in East Africa. But then another um, uh, touching story was the story of uh, one, one lady of the group Adonage. You know the group Adonage? Mm -hmm. um, the lead sing singer is called Kakimuihaki. And uh, you know, after being in a relationship or in a marriage for over three years, she comes out and uh, openly discusses about uh, um, uh, the, the, the bitter divorce that uh, um, was uh, caused by the dark days in her marriage that almost drove her into suicide. That's a very, very interesting story because I don't know if you, if you listen to some of their lyrics, they have some of the best uh, worship songs and you'd not uh, imagine that uh, after going down the aisle, you know, in a very colorful wedding ceremony, that uh, these things could be going on. But uh, it's not even new because even in the gospel industry, we've been seeing uh, a lot of uh, breakups that have been nasty, you know. Um, uh, from, from even the shortest stint of uh, the um, the ones who went to the U.S. and married for for, for 60 days, is it 56 days? <laughs> so probably also another point of concern that we should be should, should be talking about what is happening.
happening in these gospel marriages? Mm. Why is everyone Even walking out? The day they are human, they're also prone yeah. to challenges within but the marriages. Come they're, on, so yeah. They're coming out, so many of them. I think <laughs> that you both need it. Oh, no, that's <laughs> why we're going to get down to business. Yeah, yeah. We're going to get down to business. We're going to get down to business. So, and that main story? Yes. <laughs> and the main story was... Yes, yes. Uh, 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 a story we did with the sailors, yes. actually. Yeah. Yeah. There's this thing, eh? this might be a bit controversial, Queen. Eh? Mm -hmm. There's this thing for, let's say, me too that has taken off. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, we are discussing, um, we looked even in depth, like uh, these two rugby players. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's nobody is sure, assault. yes, if, if it's a sexual assault or if it's like a menage a trois, mm -hmm. gone wrong. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. uh, this, this is a possibility. Mm -hmm. But um, what has begun to happen is these days, guys are never believed. Mm -hmm. It's us versus them, so you are supporting, you know, there's this language of you are supp supporting the perpetrator, that uh, women have fin finally found a voice, no due process is being followed, people don't report things, so you say, oh, this one, there's a pregnancy that is going on, mm -hmm. and then 60 days later, yeah, and, and I know it's controversial, <laughs> but we are saying, and, 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 that's, and that's why it's a story, mm -hmm. it's a become us versus them. And I'm just saying, due process should always, and yeah. I know what I'm talking about at a personal level, mm -hmm. due processes should be followed in these things. Mm -hmm. Because even in ancient times, even the Bible, mm -hmm. when Potiphar's wife grabbed mm -hmm. Joseph, mm -hmm. I don't know if you know that story, mm -hmm. he then he left his court. Mm -hmm. He ended up in Egypt, mm -hmm. in prison, for seven years. So I'm just saying, due processes should be followed. Not these social media kangaroo courts. Yeah? <laughs> Somebody didn't hear what was going on, but they are just there. Yeah. 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 Because of time, yeah. let us jump into the yeah. Nairobian. Yeah. Queen, take us through the Nairobian. Uh, I was feeling fear. Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling, but I'm feeling afraid, like, uh, okay. Smita, yeah, I think we're going to have to take this meeting uh, <laughs> outside. Yeah. Zin's is sure, because I don't think... Queen is about to eat you alive, but we'll come to that. Uh -huh. We're going to lose equipment here anyway. <laughs> so we are not doing those movies at Avengers? Hold <laughs> up, hold up, hold up. I'll, I'll, see, you, I'll see you later, Smita. Ooh. Now, um, in the Nairobi this week, I think uh, <laughs> the sport once again is cut on um, um, public leaders, especially politicians. Mm. I'm looking at the stories and um, most of them actually are touching on the, the way they carry themselves out because we have an MP... Um, <laughs> As well, uh, in our list, sorry, we have an MP who, uh, well, uh, there are claims that he has neglected his family and right. uh, he's opted to uh, stay in a lodge. Yes. yes, not even a hotel, a lodge for is it 700 bob? Yeah. Yes, like, party party. Yes, you can see, see, the, you can see where the deputy governor was locked <laughs> in, and you can almost <laughs> I think so. Those are the for where Nyambura <laughs> comes and says, eh? Eh? Look, you better have the sleep and yes. have some fun. Oh, wait, Queen, continue. Queen, you want to take a course? Smith, please. I would just hear myself. Please, yes. I think, okay, moving on, we also have. The, uh, the youngest <laughs> member of parliament. Uh -huh. Yeah, again, he, he was uh, somebody accused him of assault. Mm. And um, <clears throat> well, we have the story here, and you can grab your copy and get the so details. Let me get this. If you are an MP but the question and, and you sleep in a dingy lodging, so they tell you in the morning. Solo, we moved on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Solo, we moved on. We moved on. Okay. So grab, grab a copy of the Nairobian to get more of that information. However, I think of more relevance is the fact that this is that member of parliament, if I could jog uh, mm -hmm. our the, viewers' the, the memory, youngest, yeah. the youngest and probably the one who's most humble, the most humble. The, the man who gave the, who, who yes, took, a who took a matatu and then the president in, gave him a... And then the president had to uh, gift him. Yeah. So we are talking about that guy. Yeah. Yes. But you know, growing horn sticks a very few months. So the Nairobi has an interview with him? We have his story. We have oh, that yes. story, yes. And then we also have the story of the personal assistant of uh, the Gabna, late Ga Gabna Governor Gabna Gakuru. Gakuru yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a very sad story. Was, um, in the same yeah. car mm. that uh, had, the had the accident. And you need to get the final details of it. However, um, on the surface, the gentleman is just complaining that he has been neglected. Mm. Yes, he has hospital bills to pay. Story. Yes, we also have that story. And uh, we also have the story, we have the capital city of Mpango Wakando. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's yes. a very a nice feature on it. Probably, uh, yes. I'm not sure 
Where solo do you have a house in Roisabu? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. until, until I attain the role of a deputy governor. Yeah. Then we can talk about houses yeah, 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 yeah. and I am told that is where everything goes down. I, I, I don't know, Zinzi. I wish I was talking from experience, but we have the details. And you need to grab a copy of that as well. Well, there's still a lot more in the Nairobi. I wish yeah, I could tell you everything. I've spends a lot of time in Roisa. <laughs> now you know why. Yeah, yeah. We always like. Yeah, yeah. Well, Munene, I won't say the same first name. <laughs> Munene, he's <laughs> always in Roisa. Yeah, just yeah, like, what's going, what, what goes on there? Eh? Yes. Now, now we know. Now we know. Yeah. Munene, you have been busted. Let me tell you, Munene, don't answer Munene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to leave the conversation yeah, right yeah. there. So you guys have to grab your copy of the standard yes. because we have both the Pulse and the Nairobian inside and all these stories that they were just talking about. But they are going to be there, all right? So make sure you get, grab yourself the standard. It has the parts inside. And then make sure you buy yourself the Nairobi on the side. Here are some of your feedback in regards to what we were asking you this morning. morning. What were your, some of the big stories of the week, this being a Friday? And Matthew, you say forgiveness. That's very nice. One tweet, one word. Actually, Forgive actually. me. Yeah. Mm. All right. And then um, Silva, he says the State of the Nation address. All right. So those are just some of your feedbacks in regards to what we were asking you this morning on Twitter. What was the biggest story for you this specific um, week, Moso? There it is. There is that specific question. What stood out for you this week? There's one specific tweet I have seen in regards to sports um, that has actually stood out for quite a number of our That's viewers this yes. morning. Um, there we go. What stood out for me was Harambe Stars. Um, that's one tweet that reads, uh, Harambe Stars appointing a new coach, okay? Mm -hmm. So Justus says that. Mm -hmm. For him, it was the Harambe Stars. Mm -hmm. While well, you guys are here talking to G Handshake and Forgiveness, it's <laughs> the state of the nation. Yeah, yeah. People within Harambe were moving forward. Yes. So for Justus, it was Harambe Stars appointing the new coach. And that story, or rather that tweet, brings us to a wrap to yet another mm -hmm. beautiful week. And I had none other than the pleasure of their company from Smitter to Queen and Solo who are ending it here on Hot topics. See you again very soon. I'll be with you tomorrow morning on Weekend Express. We have so much plan in regards for that. So make sure you keep it KTA News. Up next is News Center. Bye bye for now.